Hey everybody, welcome back to Classics Corner. Today I wanted to share with you a fun game that I found on Google Arts and Culture. It is a pottery simulator that lets you recreate ancient Greek vases, or really anything you can think of. So here we see that we're making a red figure ampera, which was a technique that was popularized in ancient Athens. Now it came after the black figure type pottery. And what red figure did, its big innovation, was it allowed you to paint just a little bit more detail. So here we go, I'm starting off by making a divot in my pot, and this brings up the clay. Now I gotta warn you, the it's taken me a couple times to fully figure out how to use this, and I really don't think that I've gotten it down perfectly. Uh, so this attempt doesn't look a whole lot like the amphora pictured, but it's really fun to mess around with. Pottery, of course, was super important to ancient peoples. It was their, essentially, their version of plastic. And what I mean by that is that the ancient peoples made thousands and thousands and thousands of clay pot, used them maybe once or twice, and if they broke, well, they just threw them away. And when they did throw those clay pots away, they usually ended up in trash piles. Now, these trash piles have actually turned out to be very important in terms of the historical record, because sometimes on these broken pieces of pottery, people would do well, I guess it would be called scratch paper. They would do little equations. They would write little notes to each other. We call these tiny fragments of pottery uh, ostraca because they were also used to banish people or ostracize them from a city. Now, of course, a lot of the pots that we look at today, they've been painted. So these pots wouldn't be like plastic at all. They would be like fine china, I guess would be the better example here. There were a number of painters, and some we can actually identify based on their art style. These pots have been found all over the Mediterranean. They were often exported. Athens was one of the greatest uh, cities for vase painting. I'm currently enrolled in a pottery class, so I can tell you a little bit about the difference between the ancient pottery technique and the modern. The biggest thing that is different about the ancient pottery technique versus what we do today is that today we use an electric wheel. What this means is that the spinning of the wheel, like you can see in this video, is done electronically. You basically have a gas pedal that you can adjust the speed at. Ancient potters, of course, didn't have electricity available, so they had to use their muscle power to spin a large wheel, often made out of stone. Once your pottery was done and you had painted it, you had to fire the pot to make it more durable. An unfired pot will eventually melt back down into clay, but a fired pot almost is like stone. It sticks around almost forever, and it's one of the major sources of archaeological data we have. In the modern pottery studio, we use electric kilns, again using electricity, that can heat the pottery to exactly a certain temperature. And this allows for a lot more precision in terms of what you're trying to accomplish with your pottery. Ancient potters used a carefully controlled fire to fire their pottery. This didn't allow for nearly the precision that a modern electric kiln would have. Whenever a piece of pottery is fired that has an air bubble inside of it, the steam in that air bubble will eventually expand and explode. In Pompeii, we actually excavated a potter's kiln that had collapsed in on itself. To sum up, modern potters can expect a much more consistent result, while ancient pottery likely had a lot of hits and misses. Anyways, I just wanted to make a video on this to show you guys so you could play around and make your own creations. If you make anything super fun, go ahead and send me that in a, a picture. Just send me a message. Um, and maybe for a 100th subscriber special, I'll go ahead and do pick my favorite. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and drop a like if you're going to go make a pot. And stay subscribed to my channel for lots more videos.